Good day, One World Fly Squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Barcelona Terminal 1 and today I'm going to fly British Airways to London Heathrow. Let's go. My final destination today is actually Hong Kong, but I'm flying through London Heathrow with BA and then from there I'm going to fly Virgin Atlantic Dreamliner to Hong Kong. I booked this itinerary through an online travel agency and it's somehow cheaper to fly Virgin Atlantic from London rather than BA all the way. Good news is BA gave me my Virgin boarding pass and my baggage will go all the way to Hong Kong. So I just checked in with British Airways. Um, the staff notified me about a fog situation at Heathrow Airport. Um, I have a connecting flight to Hong Kong with Virgin Atlantic so they moved me to an earlier flight that's leaving three hours earlier so I'm now going to go through immigration and security and straight to the gate. So that means today I will have no time for the lounge. I'm heading straight, straight, straight to the gate. So I just passed through security and immigration. I'm now officially in the non Schengen area. It's not very big here, a few duty free shops and a few eateries. Here's the queue for my bus gate. Boarding will be done by groups. With my Qantas gold card, I'm in group two. The staff here strictly enforce the boarding process. Hello, hello. Already. <laughs> okay. Thank you. This is our aircraft to London today, an 18-year-old British Airways Airbus A320-200 Golf Echo Uniform Yankee Alpha. Because of the global pandemic, this aircraft is currently stored. Welcome on board British Airways A320 Business Class or Club Europe. All the seats on board have the 3 3 configuration. My seat today is 29F, the last roll all the way to the back. Holy moly, where's my window? On board this British Airways flight to London Heathrow Terminal 3. Before making yourselves comfortable, if we could ask you please to make sure the door hand baggage is safely stowed. Any smaller bags or bags with a yellow label must be placed under the seat in front of you and all larger items into the overhead lockers. Please place all items in carefully so they do not fall out and cause injury. The only exception to this is if you are seated today on the front row bulkhead seats or on the emergency exit row. All items, all items. All items of hand baggage here must be placed into the overhead lockers and the floor area around your seat must be completely clear for takeoff. for takeoff and again for landing. This does include any coats, jackets and handbags. Thank you. Coat hook! So I just spoke to the camera crew who made that announcement. She was a very lovely lady by the way. She told me about the weather condition in London, it was horrid. She told me that she was driving to the Heathrow airport in the morning. The weather was really good, clear skies. The moment she jumped on board this aircraft to Barcelona, the weather got really bad, it was really foggy and she could barely see the wing tip. The reason is we've had some foggy conditions at London Heathrow this morning. So uh, as frequent travellers will be aware, this does slow down the movement of aircraft in and out of the airport. And then given as what they call a slot restriction, which means we're not allowed to start our engines for another one hour and 30 minutes. Now, you might be asking why we boarded you so early. The reason is that the weather's forecast to improve and these restrictions do come forward and we want to be ready to go as soon as we can. So hopefully this restriction will come forward and we'll be on our way sooner than planned. If that doesn't happen, then I'll keep it updated regularly. I'm going to switch off the seatbelt signs shortly, so if you need to move around in the cabin, use your phone, use your toilet, then feel free to do so. And I will speak to you again as soon as we've got more information. Thanks very much for your patience. So back to the story. 
So the lady and I had a bit of a chit chat and then she let me change my seat anywhere I want. Right now I'm sitting at 10A. Restriction would come forward, and fortunately, it has. So, we've now been told that we can start our engines in around 15 minutes' time. So, we should be on our way very soon. Thanks very much for your patience. And if there are any further, right now I'm at 13F because a family wanted to sit together, and for that reason, I had to move. Anyway, the seat features uh, here's the tray table. You can't fold it, but you can move it back and forth. Up there was the literature storage area. Down here is the seat pocket. Leg room is 30 inches, which is not bad because there's no literature items. There are two USB ports in front of you at every seat. This is something quite new. BA is installing on their A320. Every seat has a very nice leather headrest. It can be adjusted on the side. And pull it over your head. Pass tapes around your waist and tie them securely in a double bow at the side. So we didn't actually have a delay of 1 hour and 30 minutes, just about 30 minutes. We're now taxiing to the runway for London. By the way, I'm really really grateful to have a very nice cabin crew on board this flight, otherwise I wouldn't be filming this right now. Hello One World Traitor. As we are taxiing to the runway, mood lighting is on. Barcelona Airport and the city of Barcelona. British Airways doesn't serve free food and drinks on board economy class for the Heathrow and Gatwick flights. This includes water, coffee and tea. You have to make a purchase for anything you want. And here's the menu. Please recommend that you keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you are sitting. 
You must be securely fastened when the seatbelt sign is on. When it is safe to leave your seats, take care when opening your head lockers. The sightings may have moved and could fall out and cause injury. In a few minutes, we'll be starting our board service. If you are seated in our work, already I have the same purser or manager on my flight from London to Barcelona two weeks ago. There's Wi-Fi on board this A320, you have to pay for internet access and it's not very expensive. You can check the flight stats for free. Let's check the price. For £2 you can text only. For quicker speed and video streaming £5 for one hour or £8 for the entire flight. The crew now come around the cabin and ask if anyone wants to purchase the Marks and Spencer items. So I wasn't going to pay for anything, but I haven't eaten anything today at all. I was going to eat in the lounge, but then I got moved to an earlier flight, so here we go. Ham and cheese sandwich for £3.95. I was going to pay a little bit more for this chicken and bacon sandwich but then they've already run out of it so I have to get ham and cheese which is my second preference and it looks like this. There are two sandwich and a portion of both ham and the cheese are quite generous I'd say. Very much holding. We have an estimated parking on start of 2 o'clock so that's in 35 minutes from now. Any change to the weather or do the round time I will let you know. I trust you're trying to find me. Ladies and gentlemen, just a bit of uh, arrival information for you. If your journey ends here at uh, Hebrew, only with the aircraft, please follow the yellow signs for arrivals. Customers who are nationals of the UK, EU and EEA countries, as well as Switzerland, the USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Singapore, South Korea, are now welcome to use the e-gates to go through immigration. We're soon going to land into London Heathrow Airport, so I'll quickly conclude this flight right here right now so you can enjoy the landing without me talking too much. Firstly at the airport, it was very nice that the ground staff moved me to an earlier flight so I wouldn't risk missing my flight to Hong Kong, even though it's operated by another airline. At the boarding gate, the ground staff took the boarding procedure very seriously. It was strictly done by groups and they really turned away people who were in the wrong group. When I found out my seat, 29F didn't have a window, the cabin crew allowed me to move my seat to anywhere I want, which was very nice of her. Also, all the cabin crew today have been very friendly to us. They have big smile on their face. Also, the captain kept us very updated with delay information. The leather seat was quite good for this short haul flight. It was comfortable. I also like the new USB ports and also the comfortable headrest, which I appreciate even if it's just a short flight. The only little thing I didn't really enjoy about this flight is that water, coffee and tea weren't free. I guess it's fair enough that the sandwich wasn't free, the flight was really cheap. You can get a ticket on board this 2 hour flight for 35 euros. And of course if you have a frequent fly cart, you can get into the lounge for that price, which is amazing. That's it for the conclusion today, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so, so you won't miss out on a new trip report coming out every Thursday 12pm Hong Kong time, or 5am in London, or 6 in the morning in Spain. Please also like and comment. Thank you very much for watching, I'll now shut up and let you enjoy the approach into London. Bye bye.
Well, the local time here is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the fastened seatbelt signs have been switched off. When it is safe to leave your seats, take care of mobility your health lockers, as items may have moved and could follow that cause injury. Before leaving the aircraft, please make sure you have all your personal belongings with you. And remember that smoking is not allowed until you have reached a designated area. You may now make and receive calls as well as use all data services when you hang out electronic devices. All of us at British Airways and the One World Alliance would like to welcome home our customers who live here in London and wish those of you visiting an enjoyable stay. If you are travelling on further, we wish you a safe onward journey. On behalf of my team in the cabin, it has been our pleasure having you on board and we look forward to welcoming you back again very soon. Thank you and good afternoon. safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.